Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. McCafferty. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. McCafferty. That sounds a little bit better. Okay. We decided today to bring all you prefects together to help other pupils who may still be struggling to understand how COVID-19 has affected us all. Well, let's start with what is a pandemic? It's a terrible disease, sir. It's a disease spread by contact. It can be killed by cold. And as we all know, so many lives have been lost due to COVID-19. Unfortunately, Rebecca, you lost your grandmother. Yes, sir. Terrible blow to your family. I don't know what to say, sir. That's okay, Rebecca. I want you all to recognise that sudden unexpected death leaves you feeling lost and often angry and hurt. 
when you're speaking to your firm class on Monday, I want you to get that message across to the pupils who have lost loved ones. Any questions? What if they ask us about the vaccines? You know why people thought they were dangerous? Good point, Amanda. You will just have to go with a government's policy at that particular time, which was, although there may have been side effects, it did in fact save many lives. I don't believe that, sir. Neither do I. Well, the jury is out in that one, I'm afraid. But it's not for us to debate at this particular time. They had to get them to go anyway. It wasn't fair. My dad had to get them to go to France and he didn't want to. Any more questions? What about doing a vox pop instead of a talk, sir? Hmm. That's actually a good idea, Amanda. We could film it and show it to all the farm classes. I think that will work best, sir. And then we can send it to our schools too. Okay, he's going to actually shoot this on lunchtime on Thursday. Let's call it mm, Missing Chatter. Why, sir? Well, it's a missing chatter out of our lives. In fact, out of all of our lives, a one which we can never get back. Hi everyone, we're going to be interviewing some pupils about how the recent COVID-19 pandemic affected them. Now they find out they think things are on right at the time. So, let's go. If I begin with you, Victoria, how did COVID-19 affect you? I had to stay in a lot and go to classrooms of real pain. And what about you, Shelley? I was stressed out about my predicted grades. I just didn't know how they would work. And what about you, Misha? My laptop was playing up and I missed a lot of the classroom and I couldn't get it fixed. Do you think things could have been done better? I'm not sure about school, but the lockdown was too much. Did that affect you a lot? Aye, it did. I was on my own a lot. So was I. I got a bit done. It was just all wrong. I really missed hanging out with my friends. Were there any positives at all? The streets were deserted. No pollution. I never heard so many birds singing. It was freaky. What did you think about the vaccines? Well... In a way, they were forcing people to get them. My dad got both and he said he felt okay, but he didn't want to get them. As we have seen, COVID-19 affected us all in so many ways. Well, the vaccine's a good thing. I don't see why they had to force people to get them. My mum didn't get them and she said she's glad she didn't. My uncle got COVID a year ago and he's still not recovered. I never got to see my granny before she died. Or even go to the funeral. As we have seen, COVID-19 affected us all in so many ways. Did the bubbles really work? And, and should people, people have been, been allowed to visit loved ones who are dying? dying? You, you decide. decide.